For the first method, we're going to head over to search and type in Task Manager. Click on it. Once you're on this, you want to look for Microsoft Edge. I don't have Microsoft Edge open, so it's not going to appear for me. But once you see it, you want to click on it and then click on End Task. And then once you do that, you want to head over to the Details tab. And then you want to do the same thing. So you want to scroll down until you find Microsoft Edge. Once you find it, you want to right click on it and then click on End Process Tree. For the second method, once you're on Microsoft Edge, you want to click on the three dots in the top right and then click on Extensions. And then click on Manage Extensions. First, you want to try to disable all the extensions that you have installed and then see if that fixes the problem. If it doesn't, then click on Remove. And then click on Remove again and then see if that fixes the problem. If not, then you could just re-download it. For the next method, once you're on Microsoft Edge, we're going to click on the three dots in the top right and then click on Settings. Then we're going to click on Privacy, Search and Services. Then you want to scroll down and click on Clear Browsing Data Now, choose what to clear. You can select All Time and then make sure that Browsing History, Download History, Cookies and Cache is ticked along with all data from the previous version of Microsoft Edge and Media Foundation data. Once you do that, click on Clear Now. After you do that, we're going to click on About Microsoft Edge and then make sure that Microsoft Edge is fully up to date. If it's not, then just install the update. And if that's still not working, then we're going to head over to Reset Settings. Then you want to click on Restore Settings to the default values and then click on Reset. Now once you do this, you want to close Microsoft Edge and then open it back up and then the problem should be fixed. 